In the 150 years since the conclusion of the American Civil War, the conflict has captured the imagination of millions. Today, one could admire the artwork of Mort Kunstler or Don Troiani and imagine what the epic battles of the conflict might have looked like. We can listen to brass bands recreating the music of the era or even attend reenactments where we might, if only for a moment, capture the feeling of being there. But one of the things Hollywood and its movies, or Kunstler and his artwork, could never possibly recreate are the sounds of battle. What must it have sounded like when Stonewall Jackson's Virginians charged down Henry House Hill after old Jack commanded them to yell like furies? This, the moment of the birth of what would eventually evolve into the rebel yell, what must it have sounded like? This bone-chilling, mortifying, hair-raising sound is the stuff of legend. How could we today, curious of the past, know what it sounded like? To the Civil War enthusiast, such a concept might seem impossible. But, with an idea and a little bit of ingenuity and technology, the History Publishing Company in Palisades, New York, has made it possible to recreate the sound of the Confederate battle cry. At a 1935 meeting of the Sons of Confederate Veterans, 90-year-old Thomas Alexander, a veteran of the 37th North Carolina Regiment, was asked to deliver his rendition of the rebel battle cry to a local radio station. <coughs> Thanks to that recording, History Publishing Company was later able to have the recording amplified and patterned to match the sound of a Confederate company charging across the battlefield. <coughs> Upon the Museum of the Confederacy obtaining the original recording and rendering their own version of multiple numbers of Confederate soldiers delivering the yell, groups of Confederate reenactors begin learning and delivering the true rebel yell during reenactments. <laughs> 